Shelly, dinner's ready. Coming. No cats. Aww. <laughs> what is she doing here? I called her. Your mother thinks you might be losing your mind over me. As a neurobiologist, I was curious. Well, rest assured, I am in full possession of my faculties. 25 cats! Oh, God bless you, dear. Sheldon, sit down, let's talk. All right, but you're not fooling me. Whenever you say we have to talk, it means you want me to listen. Then stop talking. Yes, ma'am. Now, the reason I called Amy over was to find out what type of person she is. And after chatting a bit, I have to say that while she is a perfectly unique young woman, you two are definitely not suited for each other. That's a peculiar conclusion. By any standard, Amy is more similar to me than anyone I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry, Shelley. I can't see it. Well, whether you see it or not is irrelevant. Well, I can't see subatomic particles, but nevertheless, they're there. Excellent point. A physics point. <laughs> Touché. Well, putting aside the pig Latin, it's a good thing that you two decided to end the relationship so I didn't have to end it for you. Amy, after consideration, I believe we may have acted rashly. I propose we resume our relationship and attempt to resolve our differences. I'll agree to that, only if you'll stipulate that 80% of our difficulties were caused by you. I'll go as high as 40. 65. Done. <laughs> Would you like to see my cats? I would. I love cats. They're the epitome of indifference. Oh, then you may find Zazzle's a little cloying. I saw what you did there. He thinks he's such a smarty pants. He's no different from any man. You tell him not to do something, that's all they want to do. Now, don't you move. I'll bring over all the food. No, no, no. I can do it. Well, isn't that sweet? Ah! 